Concrete tanks, the advantages, low ongoing maintenance costs. You really don't have to paint them. The only thing you really have to do every once in a while is wash them out so the sediment doesn't build up on the inside. Disadvantages, higher initial construction costs, allowable leakage of 0.05% of the capacity. It's the only style water tank that doesn't have to be leak proof. Also the problem with concrete tanks is the walls are, are kind of porous in nature. If you have a leak coming out right here, that doesn't mean the leak's on the inside right there. The leak on the inside might be over here and running through the walls and the first place it can come out is over here. So it's kind of problematic to repair those. It's not always cut and dry. In limited variety of styles and configurations, it's mostly ground storage tanks. In limited life expectancy, uh, usually they say 60 to 80 years. When you're building a concrete tank, the constituents of the concrete vary from tank to tank, all right? So it's impossible to test concrete and, and have a standard formula because every formula that gets used is a little different. <laughs>